All right, about to check into the Golden Nugget for my first time on the channel. Somehow we managed to get on the top floor. Let's check out the room. All right, all right. So today we are at the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas. It's connected to the Fremont Street Experience. And I would say it's pretty safe to consider this place the most popular overall hotel and casino in all of downtown Las Vegas. Maybe without Circa, just, just get Circa out of the way. <laughs> Since Circa is just brand new and just a, so massive and amazing. And But besides Circa, I would say Golden Nugget takes the cake most popular place in all of downtown Vegas. So today we are in the Rush Tower and I booked the cheapest possible room because I wanna save some bills and show you guys for practicality what you're gonna get when you book here. So let's take a look at the room. Here we go, here's a room tour now. Bed's pretty comfy actually. Solid bed, solid room. I really like the couch. It comes with a fridge as well that's empty. And this place comes with a nice Keurig as well and a DVD player. Most casino hotels, you'll never see that, but there's a few that have it and Gold Nugget is one of them. <laughs> So I just spent some time gallivanting around the casino and reading a bit about Golden Nuggets. I didn't even know this, but there are five Golden Nugget properties in the country. There are two in Nevada. So one in Vegas, one in Reno. There's one in Atlantic City in New Jersey. There's one in Louisiana and Mississippi. So the Golden Nugget Las Vegas has 2,419 hotel rooms. There are four different hotel towers here. This casino and hotel originally opened up 75 years ago in 1946. And there is just so much history here. It's insane. The last renovation of the property was in 2009. That's when they built the current tower we're in today, the Rush Tower. So this is gonna be the freshest room experience you're gonna get if you come here. So try to get, try to get the Rush Tower, I would suggest, even though I'm sure the other towers are great as well. So there's so much here, it's kind of crazy. There's so many different restaurants and so many things to talk about. First of all, the amazing casino floor, it just has an amazing energy to it. It's got a poker room, which is pretty rare for downtown Vegas. There, I don't think there are any other casinos in downtown Vegas that have a poker room, so. That's pretty unique. And then I gotta talk about the pool. So the pool is right in the middle of this property and it, it features a shark tank. There's a shark tank in the middle of the pool with a slide that goes through the shark tank. But overall, this place has a lot to offer and an amazing energy to it. Very good vibes from everyone that I've seen and talked to so far. And let's have some dinner now. <laughs> We're going to the Chart House restaurant to have some seafood for dinner. This place has six different bars throughout the casino. There's a sports book, there's a Chick-fil-A, and there's two Starbucks's here. Two! Cool, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This is perfect. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ouais. <rire> Lava cake time. Between the fish tank at Chart House, the restaurant, and the shark tank at the pool area here, there are five dedicated marine biologists that work year-round, full-time, maintaining the tank, feeding the fish, taking care of the fish, and doing everything. It's the next morning. We have two things on the agenda, actually three things on the agenda for today. Number one, to check out the golden nugget here. Number two, to check out the pool area. And number three, we're going to the famous Pawn Stars Pawn Shop. So here on display is the world's largest golden nugget. A man and his family found this behind their modest trailer home. They were just using a metal detector and they found the freaking world's largest freaking golden nugget. All right, so uh not many people in the pool right now. It's a bit cold and windy, which is why I'm not in it. But <laughs> the pool wraps around the shark tank. And there's not only sharks in there, there's a ton of different fish in there as well. And uh, they have the slide, which is on a level above the pool level. And you can take the slide all the way down. It goes through the shark tank and then out at the end into the pool. I can't wait to come back during summer and actually do that. Oh, your favorite. Stingray. Oh. I'm not sure if I've been here on my vlog before but the Pawn Stars Gold and Silver Pawn Shop is the famous History Channel remarkable television series. This is where they film it in Las Vegas. So obviously the main reason you come here is to visit because it's the famous place where they film the show Pawn Stars and you can obviously buy some really interesting things here. But another thing you could do is you could actually pawn off things. I've tried once before, didn't work, but, <laughs> but if you have something uh, valuable, they'll, they'll take a look at it at the very least. Is that a Charizard? I've always wanted a Charizard. Okay, so Golden Nugget overall, I was really impressed. 
This place has a whole lot to offer. It feels like a strip casino on Fremont Street Experience, kind of similar to what Circa is going to make you feel like when you're there. Now, the highlights of Golden Nugget, I would say, are the restaurants. They have just a wide variety, a uh, steakhouse, seafood, sushi, and just so much. They have so many different bars. They have multiple Starbucks, like I mentioned. They have the nightclub upstairs. They even have a showroom there, which, you know, most places on Fremont just don't have a showroom. You know, they don't have as much as Golden Nugget has. And Golden Nugget is such a big property. Like I said, it's always packed, always has good energy. One negative I would say is that I do think it's a bit overcrowded in the casino. It's always so packed and kind of hard to maneuver. Maybe if you're not looking for a super, you know, jam-packed Vegas stay or experience, you won't like that, I guess. I, you, you know what I mean? Maybe you're better off choosing more of a low-key property, a less crowded property, if that's kind of your your flow. Anyway, that is it for me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit. Uh, if not, ask a question in the comments if you have any. If you've ever been to Golden Nugget and want to share your experiences there, feel free to drop in the comments as well. We can have a little bit of a discussion in the comments below. Okay, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video and to like the video if you like the video as well. I'd appreciate it. Signing off. Bye-bye.